What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, uh, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for the sign of Leo. This could resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine here to do for your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general oracle card reading for mid-May of 2022 for the sign of Leo. Like I said, this could resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts, but do not force it if it does not fit. One message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your story, not anybody else. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,590 subscribers, so I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. I truly do. Um, it helps support a... Um, single mother one of her income streams so i truly 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 appreciate the love and support um from the bottom of my heart chakra i really 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 do i received some downloads so i'm going to deliver them while i'm shuffling this, shuffling these cards out so um the channel message I, messages i received was um an unexpected phone call soon for some leos uh for some an unexpected uh, lucrative job opportunity soon for some Leos. Um, oh, and then there was a third one too. It was about 45 seconds to a minute after I heard those two. So for at least one of you guys, an unexpected phone call soon, um, obviously you're not going to expect it and somebody's going to call you for at least some of you guys. For some, an unexpected job opportunity soon. I heard very lucrative job opportunity. Um, that's at least for some of you guys. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. And then the third one, and let me tell you, this is this is the third sign I've done for mid-May of 2022. It has come up in every single sign so far. Capricorn, Virgo, and now Leo. A, a, a community has, they have screwed up, man, because they didn't help a family with a hidden camera of warrior energy in the past. Now, exes' families and exes are coming after them for children, basically, because they know of evidence that this, whoever these people are, did not help this family in the past and that they abused and exploited a family, either made money off of them through the warrior camera energy or they, um, or they um, abused them and did not come and help them get the voyeur camera out of the home. So now all these people's exes or exes' families are coming or bringing them to the court of law with substantial evidence that they knew that their ex that currently, it sounds like currently has full custody of their child or children, abused and exploited this uh, family and they didn't help. So now they're going to use that as collateral against them in the court of law. This is going to happen to at least one Leo, it sounds like, coming up soon. It's already was in a Virgo's reading and Capricorn's and now Leo. So you plug it in, how it resonates. But basically what I heard, that's basically the down and dirty gist of it. But for at least one of you guys, one Leo, um, some, one of your exes or your ex's family. I heard ex for some and ex's family for some. So for some it's your ex, for some it's your ex's family. They're about to bring you to the court of law, I heard, because they have proof and evidence that you free willingly voyeured through a family's, uh, a, a hidden camera, voyeur camera of a family in the past, and you refuse to help the family. So now they're going to bring you to the court of law and fight for custody, some of one child for some of two plus children, because you refuse to help the family in the past. Whoever you are and however this resonates, Leo. You you can be a masculine or femme Leo, but you definitely have one child or two plus children. You could have Leo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or no Midhaven or Jupiter, uh, Midhaven or Jupiter charts. If this resonates for you, Leo. However that resonates. Spare messages you have on Leo. For some, the family, exes family, for some, the exes have receipts of betting energy from this camera. 
they're going to display them as evidence in the court of law. For some, it is a video camera evidence of the voyeur camera. For some, it is group chat energy. Oh, my Lord. So, for some, I feel it's at least three of you guys. Dear God of mercy. Or for some, it's group chat energy. Um, it sounds like this is what's going to be the evidence for the in the court of law, is what it sounds like. For some, it's group chat energy, I guess, conspiring against his family or he hawing and laughing at this family and abusing and exploiting this family. For some, for some, it is um, uh, receipts, receipts of betting energy against this family. So not only were they spying on this family, but they were, uh, you were betting against them too, Leo, if this resonates for the, uh, for you, but somehow your ex's family or your ex has acquired this, um, evidence, if this resonates for you. Um, and for some, it is, uh, some it's group chat, some it's the, uh, uh some it's actual video camera evidence of voyeur camera, um, energy that was in this family's home. But... They're going to use it in a court of law against you because you basically abused and exploited a family and you didn't get them help. You either betted against them, laughed and hee-hawed against them, made fun of them, or what have you. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But group chat energy for some sounds like it's going to be evidence. For some, it's some kind of receipt energy, a betting energy against the family. Um, sounds like they made some kind of illegal business through it for that one. For some, it was... Um, actual video camera evidence of boy your camera energy you plug it in how it resonates we have younger man dealings a relationship with a younger man marriage and wishbone a wish is granted porcupine spirit time for new beginnings Armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. Number 48 or 3 can be very significant, significant numbers in your life. 48 or 3. It can be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 48 or 3. Also, you could be dealing with, um, you have double fire sign energy in here, by the way. Uh, double fire sign energy. So, uh, I feel you're dealing with another Aries Leo Sag for some two plus Aries Leo Sages. They could have Aries Leo or Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or if they may have Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Leo. Also, number 14 and 50 can be very significant numbers in one's life, 14 or 50. We have 48, 3, 14, 50. By the way, thanks everybody for all the well wishes about my hand. Uh, it is feeling better. So thank you so much for everybody who sent me texts and emails and phone calls asking about um, how my hand was doing thank you so much i appreciate all the love and support with that i do porcupine spirit time for new beginnings a very significant workman's comp compensation claim Fraudulent workman's compensation claim on a Leo on a Leo of the past is about to become very, very, very significant. Scorpionic energy heavy here. This person will end up in prison for many series of chain events. You had no idea it was filed. It was against you. Oh, my Lord. A Libra is going to be drug into this as well, and they do not want to be drug into it, but they will be. Through many series of chain of events. Oh, my Lord. So, you plug it in how it resonates. A very significant workman's, comp uh, I heard workman's compensation claim of the past 
against you, Leo. So I heard it was fraudulent. Um, so obviously, if this resonates for you, you did not file the workman's compensation claim in the past. Um, uh, it sounds like a scorpionic energy and a Libra energy. It sounds like they were in cahoots together to do this in the past, filed it um, again. Um, it sounds like it was your workman's compensation claim, but you've never filed it. it. sounds like they did it behind your back, but they used your information to do it. it sounds like they used your name, social, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to do it. But I heard uh, through many series of chain events, the Scorpion energy will end up in prison over this. Um, and um, through many series of chain events, uh, the Libra will be drug into it and they do not want to be. So you plug it in how it resonates. It will not go well for either of these individuals. Okay, I heard it will not go well for either of these individuals. It will not go well for either of these individuals. So the Scorpio or the Libra, it sounds like they tag teamed it together in the past to file this workman compensations, uh, workman's compensation claim. Sounds like it was your information, but you had no damn clue in the universe that it occurred because you didn't do it. Sounds like they did it. Uh, I heard it's not going to go well for either one of them. I heard the Scorpio is going to end up in prison over it. I don't know about the Libra, but it sounds like the Scorpio might quack on the Libra. Um, and maybe she, uh, he or she, I don't know if it's a masculine or femme Libra. Um, maybe the Libra ends up in prison too, but I heard he will. Um, Scorpio mask on the wheel. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Ooh. So time for new beginnings. I'm feeling is you getting away from this toxic Scorpio masculine or this Libra, masculine or femme Libra, um, and creating new beginnings for yourself, um, uh, creating, um, you know, a life for yourself where you can grow and manifest on your own and uh, away from succubus energies. Because obviously anybody that files a fraudulent workman's compensation, I don't even know how the hell they did that. Unless um, one of those people went in there and pretended they were you. Um, I mean, I'm serious. I, I don't know. I don't get into fraud and theft and all that shit. I don't know how the hell they did it. But somehow they did. And it's about to come to the forefront and the light. And um, it sounds like they use your name and social and date of birth and et cetera, et cetera, to do it. But I think it's time for you to move on away from these people so you can get your new beginnings and just not worry about this crap because whoever you are, Leo, you didn't do it. It was somebody that did it behind your back and you sounds like you your, used your information to do it. Armadillo spirit, self, set healthy boundaries. Let me see if I hear anything else. One Leo is about to really, really take on weight loss. Take weight loss seriously. This time. Okay, I heard one Leo is about to really, really take weight loss seriously this time. So time for new beginnings. And this aspect is really getting, kicking it into gear, Leo, and um, setting your weight loss goals. I heard a uh, setting weight loss boundaries or uh, weight loss goals this time. So I think you try to, I think you might be overweight. Or you feel you're overweight and you wanted to lose weight in the past, but you didn't really kick it into high gear. But it sounds like you're about too soon. If that resonates for you, only you know your story, not anybody else. Armadillo Spirit said healthy boundaries. A particular Leo is about to have a bombardment of love choices come at come at them you really need to use your best intuition one will not entertain any of them oh my lord you can plug it in how it resonates well the last message sounds like me i heard one of you guys is not going to entertain any of them yeah that's me i nay nay i i know i'm going to Remain the rest of my um, adulthood as a single lady, and I am totally happy with that. Um, I don't want anybody up in my life or my pants, and that's just the truth. Um, but whoever this is for, you can be masculine or femme Leo, but I heard basically um, you're about to get a bombardment of love suitors come after you. So, I mean, it sounds like a bunch of people is going to try to come after you. Now, it could be people... You know, it could be shifty people in your past trying to get people to come towards you to try to, you know, like karmic energy. That's what I'm feeling for some. I feel it might be karmic energy in your past 
trying to bombard these people towards you to get you with somebody because they might feel bad of the way they treat you in the past is what I'm feeling for some. For some, it just could be people just truly interested in wanting to be with you or or they could maybe you maybe you have a lot of money for some. Maybe they're interested in the money. I'm not sure. But there's a reason at least one of you guys is about to have a bombardment of love choices come after you soon. Heard to use your best intuition. So use your best logic, logic, reason and intuition here, Leo. Um, you don't want somebody stealing from you. Um, you I mean, you don't want somebody coming in, getting your pants. And um, then leaving out your house at 2 a.m. with your wallet and your credit card. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I know you guys wouldn't either. So just be careful, okay? And I heard one of you guys is not going to entertain any of them. So that sounds like me because I've lived and I've learned. And I don't want anybody in my pants or my house. And that's just the truth. So you plug it in how it resonates. So setting healthy boundaries using your best intuition. If that resonates for you um, in the romantic department soon somebody's about to have a bunch of people come towards them romantically um for some i feel it strongly feel it could be fire signs about to come after you is what i'm feeling because you have double fire sign energy so i feel it might be an, another or either one or two plus aries leo sagittarius's that could have aries leo or sag and their sun moon rising Venus, or feminine henry jupiter charts if that resonates for you a particular Sagittarius masculine is about to reach out to a Leo feminine. About to let them know of a lawsuit they're about to place on a Scorpio masculine. It's about to actually promote a lot of healing between the Sagittarius masculine and this Leo feminine. A lot of truth will be spoken. And positive series of chain events will occur between these two individuals. Well, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, so that, that's a real good one. So, Sag masculine energy, which I, I told you guys I feel heavy fire sign energy because you have double fire sign energy in here. Heavy Sag masculine energy coming towards you soon, Leo. So, I feel they're coming towards you with some kind of communication. It could be in the 3D, I'm feeling, face to face, or it could be snail mail, it could be message, text, email, etc., etc., etc. But definite communication, the Sag is going to uh, communicate with you. It's a Sagittarius masculine. They could have Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Moon, and Jupiter charts. But I heard basically they are about to come towards you and let you know of a lawsuit they're about to place on a Scorpio masculine soon. Um, and I heard a lot of truth will be spoken between you and this Sag masculine. Um, so I think he's going to tell you about uh, I guess what he can tell you about the lawsuit against his Scorpio masculine. It sounds like he's going to place on the Scorpio masculine. Um, and I heard a lot of healing will be promoted there between you and him. So that's really, really positive energy. Um, I heard positive series of chain events will occur between you and him. So I don't think this is him trying to date you. I don't think this is one of the plethora of people trying to come towards you to date you. I think this person wants to heal things with you in a copacetic, positive manner whoever the Sag, Sag masculine is and how they resonate. I think they're about to set healthy boundaries with the lawsuit with the Scorpio masculine. And I think they're about to set healthy boundaries and healing energy with you. Um, and it's going to be a new beginning with you and the Sag masculine in a positive, healthy, copacetic manner is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. I don't feel the Sag masculine is trying to get in your pants. Um, maybe you have slept with this person in the past. Maybe you haven't, but I don't feel they are. But you plug it in how it resonates. Younger man, for some, it could be a person younger than you, possibly. The Sag masculine could be younger younger than you. For some, I'm feeling they might be. For some, they may not be. You plug it in how it resonates. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. For some, a younger water sign is about to become very significant in your life. For some, a younger fire sign. Younger than you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. For, for some of you guys, a younger a water sign is about to become very significant in your life. For some, a younger fire sign. 
um, you plug it in how it resonates. I, this could be this plethora of people about try, coming in towards you to try to date you, possibly, for some of you guys. I feel their masculine energies or femme that takes on heavy masculine. How that resonates. Because everybody takes on masculine femme energy. So, so let's see, they're a masculine water sign or a masculine fire sign or a femme that takes on heavy masculine water sign or a femme that takes on heavy masculine fire sign. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or Aries, Leo, Sag and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Haven, and Jupiter charts. If that resonates. Um, but I heard they're about to become very significant in your life soon. Let me see if there's anything else. For some, they will invite you to a wedding. For some, they're about to put your name out to a company for a job opportunity. They know you will be great. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. Okay, well, that's not bad. So for some of these people, I heard they're about to invite you to a wedding. So it's either a fire sign or a water sign about to invite you to a wedding. For some, they're about to uh, put your name out um, to a company. I heard they know you'd be great. So um, putting uh, their connections out and feelers out to this company. I think they're about to recommend you to this company. It's somebody younger than you. So however old you are, like, for example, I'm 38. So if, you know, if I came, if I was on the other end of this and I was coming across this reading and the message resonated with me, the 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 younger masculine or younger family masculine would have to be 37 or below but everybody's on different time and life paths you're whatever age you are i feel they're younger than you is what i'm trying to say i'm just using myself as an example but you plug it in how it resonates but fire sign and water sign energy about to um recommend you positively recommend you to a company and a specific position i heard they know you would do great at it so you plug it in how it resonates so they're putting, um, they are putting um, their feelers out for you in a positive way. They are putting their good name, hopefully good name, I mean, hopefully good name, out for you in a positive copacetic manner to this, for this position, um, recommending you in a positive way. And that's really, really beautiful. For one of you, this is a investigator about to contact you regarding, regarding a death you reported, a cold case death you reported of the past, within the past two years. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, so, um, for one of you guys, this is somebody reaching out to you regarding a cold case death you reported within the last two years. So this person, I feel their masculine energy or a femme that takes on heavy masculine. It sounds like they're about to contact you, Leo, regarding some kind of cold case death you reported within the last two years. I think this could be police or this could be um, a private investigator, a public investigator, a police investigator, fed energy, um, Somebody working on, this could be forensics, somebody working on this cold case energy is what I'm feeling. Um, but I think it's a masculine energy or a femme taking on heavy masculine, and I definitely think they're younger, younger than you. And it sounds like they're going to reach out to you regarding this cold case death energy. I heard you reported, you reported within the last two years. So you plug it in how it resonates. One, it has to do with the, uh, black magic. When it was a drive-by, when it was a hit and run. Okay, when it has to do with the uh, black magic, black, uh, I'm assuming a COVID energy of the past. When um, a drive-by, when, um, what was the other one? When a drive-by, when COVID energy, and one, um, ooh, I'm drawing a blank on the other one. I'm drawing a blank. You'll have to go back and check it. There was a third one. So you plug it in how it resonates. Marriage. But I definitely think they're younger, younger than you for sure.
a particular water sign feminine that has spited you and betrayed you in the past. Her marriage is about to fall apart in a huge way because an affair is about to be exposed. She has lied on you in a workplace situation, but through many series of chain events, she's about to realize she needs to tell the truth, and she's about to. There's about to be huge chaos in her life. Oh, my Lord. You're plugging it in. How it resonates. So there's a water sign femme in your work, workplace, um, Leo, if this resonates for you. I heard she's lied on you in a huge way. So you could be masculine or feminine, I'm feeling, but this water sign femme has lied on you in a huge freaking way, whoever you are and how this resonates. But um, she's legally married, whoever this water sign femme is. She is legally married, and I heard her marriage is about to basically fall apart um, because, uh, because of some kind of a fair energy. It sounds like she's currently involved in or she was involved with in the past. And basically, um, she's about to realize she needs to tell the truth. She needs to tell the truth because she has lied on you. And I think she think uh, I think she thinks that the reason her marriage is falling apart is because she lied on you. So now she's going to try to do the right thing and tell the truth. I heard she is going to end up telling the truth. So, um, but it sounds like it's going to take her marriage falling apart with the exposure of this affair coming out in her own personal life to make her tell the truth on you in the workplace situation, which is really, really, really terrible. But, you know, it is what it is. At least she's going to tell the truth now. She knows she needs to tell the truth because it's about to come out from somebody else anyways in this workplace situation. And in one of these situations, corporate will, will get involved. Okay, I heard she, need, she knows she needs to tell the truth because it's going to come out from somebody else in this workplace situation anyway soon. And she knows it. And um, in one of these situations, corporate's going to get involved. So she... Um, if she's one of the ones where corporate's going to get involved, she probably, she knows she needs to tell the truth. Um, and at least one of these situations, um, uh, uh, somebody else in your workplace situation is going to make it come out anyways. But she lied on you. She lied on you. And then soon her marriage is about to fall apart because she's in a current affair or former affair. And so she's having chaos and conflict in her own personal life. That's probably why she lied on you because she didn't want she didn't want truth come out to try to block you in such a form or fashion, but she knows she, I heard she knows she needs to tell the truth and she's going to do it. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. In this aspect, it is this water sign feminine's um, marriage with the affair energy, if this resonates for you. Holy crap. She could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If this resonates for you, Leo. A Leo in a current relationship, feminine Leo, is about to get proposed to soon. Okay, I heard a Leo in a current relationship, fem Leo. You're a fem Leo in a current relationship. I heard you're about to get proposed to soon. So in this aspect, your current partner, whether it's a masculine or femme partner, they want to marry you. They want to ask for your hand in marriage is what I'm feeling. And for some Leo fans, your partner possibly could be a younger masculine energy, um, younger than you possibly because it's connected to the younger man card over here. For some, you plug it in how it resonates, but it's somebody you're currently in a relationship with. I feel it's uh, either common law, you're either common law marriage right now and you live together or it's fiance energy and you don't live together or, um, or well, it's not fiance energy. They're about to ask for your hand in marriage. So you're either common law married right now and they want to make you their fiance or you've been living together a while and they want to make you your fiance or you haven't been living together for a while and they want to make you your, your fiance. How that resonates. Um, beautiful. So this is them asking for your hand in marriage soon. So a proposal coming soon. Wishbone, a wish is granted. A particular feminine Leo is about to get a huge positive surprise soon. Huge positive surprise. 
An Aries feminine is about to back down in a huge way for some. For some, another Leo feminine is about to back down in a huge way soon. Negative energies towards you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, how this resonates, Leo. For some of you guys, you're about to get a very positive, beautiful surprise soon. I mean, like, I don't know what the hell it is. I haven't heard that yet. But some kind of positive, beautiful surprise, whatever the crap it is. It's beautiful, it's big, and it's a huge, it's surprise. It's a surprise, so you're not seeing it coming. Um, but if this resonates for you, some of you guys, you have an Aries feminine with some kind of negative energy towards you in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel like behind the scenes, um, back door, behind the scenes, spiteful, stinky energy. For some, for some, it's another Leo them. Spiteful, inner, um, back door, sneaky, negative energy um, towards you. Um, but I heard once this happens, they're going to back down. They're going to back down. So it sounds like your wish is going to be granted, but it, sound, it sounds like it's some kind of beautiful, positive shock and surprise towards you. But you've got, for some of you guys, at least one Leo Fem, another Leo Fem, negative evil energy towards you for some uh aries femme negative evil energy towards you but i heard they're going to back down once this happens uh for some it could be one of these people for some it could be both for some it could be two plus you plug it in how it resonates um so a wish is granted this positive miracle s type beautiful surprise coming towards you soon your wish wish is going to be granted in some shape form or fashion One Leo is going to receive shocking communication from a company they worked at years ago and pay out energy they should have received years ago. This company, what you don't know, this company is about to take negative legal action on someone that stole your money. Holy crap. Wow. What? This is beautiful, man. So for one of, one of you guys, you worked at a company, I heard years ago, years ago. So it's, you know, I'm, years, I'm thinking two plus years ago, if that resonates for you. It, I'm thinking two plus years ago. But um, somebody, it sounds like you received a payout or settlement or something from this company in the past. But I heard someone, it sounds like in that company, stole your money. They stole your money. Um, but you don't know this, if this resonates for you. You don't know this because it sounds like you moved on. You went, went ahead and did your thing. Obviously, you didn't get contact for the payout or the settlement because whoever this person is that stole your money in that company, they obviously didn't tell you they stole your money. But I heard soon you're about to find it out through some kind of legal communication through the mail. It sounds like snail mail um, of this company. They're about to contact you. It sounds like through the mail um, and tell you this and um, set up, uh, give you this payout, uh, this payout or et cetera, or money or whatever it is that you deserve from this company in the past. I'm feeling two plus years ago, you worked there. Um, and I heard what you don't know is they're about, the company is about to take legal action on the person that stole the money from you. So whoever it is that stole the money from you, I feel for some, a younger man, younger masculine energy could have stole the money from you, if that resonates for you. But you plug it in how it resonates. And that could be setting the healthy boundaries from the person that stole the money from you. For some, this person could be in plain sight of you. Maybe you deal with them on a regular basis and you're about to find out they really, they stole money from you and you're about to set healthy boundaries away from them, possibly for some. You plug it in how it resonates. Stability. A particular Leo has really been getting their money up through their business for some, for some business and work out in the 3D. They're about to make huge positive changes in their home situation soon. New decorative ideas, renovations around their home. For one, you're about to get a very, very, very large 
payout soon that you deserved a long time ago, and that's going to help as well. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. This is really, this is the best one so far, Leo. Holy crap. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So um, some of you guys, I heard you've been working hard on your business. So I feel you have a business. You are the CEO of your business. You own a business or businesses. Her business, but for some of you, it could be two plus businesses, however that resonates. But you are, I feel you are the head honcho. You are the CEO of your own business. Um, I heard you've been working hard at your business for some, for some you have a business or businesses and you work out in the 3D, you've been really working hard, working on your stability, working on your money, working on your coins, working on your money to be able to do the fun things in life or be able to do nice things for yourself or for others, basically, if that resonates for you. But I heard basically your hard work's about to pay off and um, you are about to have that stability, that money, that um financial security, that wealth for you. And it don't sound like anybody can take it. You know, I know a lot of you guys have been sold from in the past. I know I have been. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard basically um, you're about to have enough money to do uh, home renovations for some, for some decorative ideas in your home. For some, you're about to receive a large payout of the past that you should have received a long time ago. And that's really going to help too. So whether you do home renovations or decorative ideas in your home or a mixture of both, or, uh, you know, maybe you need new siding on your home, or maybe you need a new fence, or maybe you want an in-ground pool, or maybe you want a jacuzzi. I mean, I don't know. Only you know your preferences, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates, but this money is about to, whether you've earned it from business or businesses or um, out in the 3D or a mixture of both or the settlement or payout energy from the past you should have deserved in the past and you didn't get, you're about to get it soon. It's going to create stability. That's beautiful. Focus. Um, for one of you guys, like I said, with the payout energy from this company of the past, um, uh, the company is about to take uh, press charges, it sounds like, on the person that stole the money from you. It sounds like the company knows or they're about to find out this person stole the money from you and they're about to press charges on their ass. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Focus. A particular Leo is about to really, really, really get focused. Really, really focused. Set goals. And set boundaries with people in their life. One Leo is around a lot of drug drug addicts and they're about to cut these people off. Okay, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So if this resonates for you, um, you're about to get focused. Uh, I think you're about to set healthy boundaries. Uh, one of you guys is around a lot of drug addicts, I heard. Um, and you're about to cut those people off. I don't think it's because you want to. I think it's because you feel you have to do that for yourself to make yourself better is what I feel. I don't think you want to be malicious or mean or spiteful or anything like that, but I feel you feel you need to do it for you. Um, and you have to, I mean, you always, you need to do what's best for you, period, point blank. I mean, I'm not talking about being mean and malicious and spiteful to the drug addicts, but if they're not choosing to make positive copic, copic, copacetic healthy boundaries towards quitting their drug addict problem, then, you know, you don't want to get drugged down in it. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, you know, everybody has free will and use your best intuition, but one of you guys is about to, I heard, cut off the drug addicts, because I think it's because you feel like you need to, but you plug it in, how it resonates, so focus, you're about to get focused on yourself, setting healthy boundaries for yourself, setting goals for yourself, I mean, we have home renovations in here, we have weight loss in here, we have um, uh, all kinds of things in here, so you plug it in, how it resonates. An Aries feminine dealing with a Leo, uh, I'm sorry, not a Leo, a Libra feminine in the past is about to seriously backfire on her in a huge way. An investigator is about to get wind of this, and this Aries feminine is about to get brought into a very criminal investigation soon. They're about to wish they never got involved with this Libra feminine. 
Oh my Lord, you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God. Okay, I heard a, um, okay, so you're drawing in heavy Aries energy in here, whoever you are, Leo. Heavy Aries energy. It's a Aries femme in this situation. It's an Aries feminine. Um, you deal with them in some shape, form, or fashion in, in the energetic space. So I don't know if you're a family member, a coworker, former coworker, neighbor, community member, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But heavy Aries fem energy, if this resonates for you. But I heard that they, they are secretly, have been secretly dealing with the Libra feminine energy. So you deal with this Aries fem in some shape, form, or fashion in the world, I feel. But they haven't been telling you they've been secretly dealing with the Libra and feminine energy. It sounds like very low vibrational Libra and feminine energy, which I feel is probably bringing this Aries Fem down vibrations too. Um, and that's a huge reason why I cut people off. So I, I can say high vibrational, you know what I'm saying? But I heard basically, it sounds like she, the Libra and feminine is about to get caught into some kind of heavy investigation soon, or she already has been. Um, but there's about to be some kind of communication this investigator is about to catch between these two people and I heard it's about to drag this Aries feminine into it, whether she wants to get drug into it or not. Um, so it sounds like she she's about to get drug into this investigation regarding this Libra and feminine. She probably didn't even know about this crap, but since she communicated with her, it's about to get her drug into it. Um, it is about to go very, very, very badly for these two, very badly, and for others. Connections will be formed here. This investigator, some investigators, is not playing around. Oh, my God. You plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, my God. So, okay. So, for some, if it's two-plus situation in the universe. For some Libra and Feminines, they have one investigator after their ass, whether they know they do or not. For some, it's two-plus. But some kind of significant communication between a Libra and Feminine and an Aries Fem is about to become very significant. I think the... I think it's feds on this Libra and Feminine or police or both. But it sounds like the communication has already occurred in the universe. It's about to drag this Aries Feminine into this mix. She don't want to be drugged into it, but she's about to be. Um, and it's about to go badly for both of these people. So whatever kind of investigation, but it is, it sounds like criminal. It sounds like criminal. Um, but it sounds like because this Aries Feminine has communicated with her, it has drugged her into it. And I heard it's not going to go bad for both of them. Yikes. It doesn't, you sound like you have just deal with this person, this Aries fem. It might be that negative Aries energy that's secretly behind the scenes wishing ill upon you or some, some crazy crap. You plug it in how it resonates. For one of these Aries feminines, they will end up losing their job over this. Connection with this Libra and feminine and this investigation. Oh, my Lord, this is terrible. I heard one of these Aries feminines, they will end up losing their job over this because it's Libra and feminine and this investigation. So for one Aries fam, there's at least two plus of these situations in the universe. For one of them, I heard the Aries fam will end up losing. It sounds like she's employed in the 3D in the everyday world we live in. She will end up losing her job over this because of the communication, whatever the prop kind of communication has transpired between those two, but it doesn't sound like it's been positive. I'll tell you that. Um, so much so that she will, I heard she will end up losing her job over this. I heard the investigator or investigators are not playing around with this. So, I mean, they're about to take some great action here. Um, so much so one of these Aries fans will lose their job over this. Um, how that resonates? Um, it doesn't sound like you were directly involved in this. It sounds like all this crap is going on behind your back, Leo, if this resonates for you. But you definitely deal with this Aries feminine in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel this Aries fan wishes ill upon you. Or they've been doing shysty sneaky, deceptive, sly things behind your back, if that resonates for you. Let me see if I have anything else. Someone is about to provide information on your stolen inheritance soon. Through many shocking series of chain events, you will receive it. And someone will end up in jail and then prison over this. Well, that's a good one too, Leo. Holy crap, your reading is wonderful. Good God, compared to some of those other ones. Those other ones are heavy. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys has a stolen inheritance. It sounds like an inheritance was stolen from you. It sounds like past energy. It's already been stolen from you. 
Some, I mean, I'm feeling somebody probably has hid this freaking inheritance in like the offshore account. I didn't hear that. That's just kind of what I'm feeling. My logic, reasoning, intuition on this. Um, but they're hiding it somewhere. And it's obviously from you. Um, but I heard somebody's about to provide information on this stolen inheritance regarding you, Leo. So it's somebody you positively deal with or have dealt with. Somebody that obviously cares about you and really wants well for you. It's not negative evil energy. Um, and I heard through many series of chain events you will get it. And then whoever has stolen it, either one person or two plus people, will end up in jail and then prison over this. So it doesn't sound like it's happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. But it's somebody that truly does want good for you in your life, Leo, that's about to provide information on the stolen inheritance to help you. And that's, that's beautiful, positive energy. For some, it could be a younger masculine energy, younger than you, about to provide information on this, possibly for some, or a younger femme that takes on heavy masculine. For some, it could be somebody else. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates. That's really, really beautiful energy. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, well... Good reading, Leo. I mean, there's some dark, some light in here, but you know, hey, it's life. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.